had a couple of fun facts I wanted to run past about faith-based giving. Found that eight out of 10 people who give to uh, religious organizations have zero credit debt. That's kind of interesting and amazing. Yes, so we should all give more often. Is that just because of good karma or what? I don't know. <laughs> Um, while our work is grounded in our strong Catholic roots, which we're proud of, um, it is very important to note that we serve people from all walks of life. But we've been here for 75 years, and our mission is to help the needy and the vulnerable. And the faces of those who are vulnerable have changed over time. Uh, many of those that we assess have never been in a position prior to this year to reach out for help, to ask for help. And now they find themselves having to do that. Um, in fact, the requests for emergency assistance were the highest they've ever been in December, this month, than we've seen before. Um, we had a about a 33% increase in inquiries um, just over November, over the past month. And that's really a staggering figure if you look at it. Michael, you said that you're seeing, you know, this, this month especially, you're just seeing such a huge increase in demand. Um, are you also seeing an increase in people supporting Catholic charities and donating or giving at this time? We've seen phenomenal response of people supporting us throughout the entire year. Um, and, and that's, I mean, our lights would not be on if that wasn't the case. It's interesting, your 75 year anniversary COVID kicked in and you guys kicked in. And so, yeah. I mean, it's just amazing. You're just proving how worthy you are. Um, exciting that you're in New Hampshire, so you're close. Nice. Um, so that's really cool. I'm gonna go ahead and share my screen. Live for your die, right? Live for that's your die, right. New Hampshire. <laughs> Thank you. Best state motto. <laughs> Love it.